Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Today it's English time. Today's lesson is for the second grade middle school students. I hope you will enjoy it. It is a grammar lesson. Let's have a look at this example. Anna is traveling to London next month. In this sentence, Anna is the subject. Is traveling is the verb. The verb is traveling is in the present progressive tense. And it is used here to express a future plan because the action is going to occur in the future, next month. Let's have a look at this timeline. We have the present, past and future. The verb is traveling is in the present progressive, but it expresses a future plan which means that the action of traveling is going to occur in the future and precisely next month. The action has been planned or decided sometime in the past. To sum up, we use present progressive to express future plans and arrangements. Today we are going to study the simple future tense. The simple future has two different forms in English. Will and going to. Although the two forms can sometimes be used interchangeably, they often express different meanings. So what's the difference between will and going to? in form and use. When do we use well and when do we use going to? This is our today's lesson. Let's start with future well. The form is in affirmative form subject plus will plus verb in infinitive. Example, she will tell your mom. Negative, subject plus will not plus verb in infinitive or want in the contracted form plus verb in infinitive. Example, she won't tell your mom. Interrogative, will plus subject plus verb in infinitive. Example, will she tell your mom? I think she will be a great star. In this sentence, the speaker is using future will to express a prediction and he's using the verb think because he's not sure that the action will happen in the future. So the speaker is expressing his opinion or talking out of his personal experience. To sum up, we use the future will to express a prediction and we most often use the verb think or believe or other verbs of the same kind. In this sentence, I like these glasses, I will buy them. Here, the speaker is using the verb will buy to express a spontaneous decision because the, the decision to buy the glasses is made at the moment of speaking. In this example, I will help you with the washing up. In this sentence, the speaker is offering his help to do the washing up. That's why we say that we use future will to make offers. Be quiet or I will tell your mom. In this sentence, the speaker is warning or threatening someone. So we use future will to make warnings or threats.
Let's read this sentence. I won't lie to you again, I promise. Here the speaker is making a promise. So we use future will to make promises. In an example like this, will you help me with this exercise? The speaker in this sentence is asking for help, so he or she is making a request. We can say that we use future will to make requests. And now let's recapitulate. We use future will to express predictions, spontaneous decisions, offers, warnings, promises, and requests. And now let's see the form and the different uses of future going to. We use be going to plus the base form of the verb. Example, I'm going to take a few exams at the end of the year. Now let's have a look at these examples. I'm going to buy a new computer. The speaker is expressing his intention to buy a new computer. I'm going to the cinema next Saturday. The speaker is talking about his plan to go to the cinema next Saturday. So we use future going to to express intentions and plans or arrangements. If I say it's going to rain tomorrow, here I'm making a prediction. When we use going to, it's a prediction based on evidence. Maybe I see that the sky is full of thick dark clouds, which makes me almost sure that it's going to rain. And now let's sum up. We use future going to to express intentions, future plans, and predictions based on evidence. Going to form. Affirmative, it's going to rain. Negative, it isn't going to rain. Interrogative, is it going to rain? And now we've come to the end of our lesson about the simple future tense. I hope it is clear. Thank you for your attention, take care of yourselves, and goodbye.